So before starting InfoSense, I was an electrical engineer a professor at UNC Charlotte. In 2005, a group of engineers from Charlotte Water came to UNC Charlotte. They were looking for solutions and just basically a brainstorming session to see if there was some way we could collaborate to address some of their issues. The main issue that they brought up was the concept of having sewer overflows and what could we do to help them. The same issue that I think is throughout the whole industry, Charlotte also faced. Cleaning operations are well understood and well done, but what was missing was something that actually helped them to figure out where do you start the process in your operations? Where do you put your systems? What I think a lot of the people in the industry are recognizing is they were cleaning a lot of clean pipes. So how do we figure out where we need to put our cleaning resources? The proposal I came up with was to use radio frequencies to actually be able to detect, potentially detect blockages within pipes. I had a graduate student, we were out doing field measurements, and we found out that radio frequencies really doesn't work very well. What we did find is that when we were making the measurements to actually test out, in this case, storm drains, uh, to actually find out, you know, start the test, we'd yell through the pipes. So, you know, you had the aha moment saying, well, RF doesn't work, but acoustics does. So the initial funding from Charlotte was basically a feasibility study. After that, for the NSF grant, we got some additional funding, some additional resources to actually develop what is now the SLRAT. So basically a transmitter and receiver came up with an algorithm inside those that actually could do the characterization of what it's actually hearing. Companies are actually using the technology in many different ways. There are a number of utilities that have actually ex exceeded what I was doing. They use it both for um, the initial detection as where they should be doing clean. They also use it for verification. Little Rock, over a period of several years, started adopting our technology. They were getting a substantial number of overflows, and so they said, we need to aggressively adopt condition-based maintenance so we can get our overflows down. So some utilities have gone to like cleaning all of their system way too often. But Little Rock said, let's do this smart and let's go out and use the SLRAT to actually triage our whole system. And we'll start reacting to that. From 2017 to 2018, they showed a 52% increase in the amount of waste they were actually collecting with a 32% reduction in the number of pipes they were actually cleaning. So those two factors said, okay, we're reducing our cleaning, but we're actually collecting more material. That means we are attacking the pipes that the SRL rat was actually saying we should be doing. Being an engineer, I really like the idea of helping an industry solve a problem. I feel like I've done something for society that's got meaning.